Uh, welcome to another episode of Watercolor Instructions. Uh, so today I'm going to do another uh, landscape, a uh, forest theme. So if you are curious about what materials and uh, equipment I use, uh, go to the description. Every bit of colors and palettes I put in the description notes. And if you have any other questions, let me know. Uh, drop a question in the comment section and I'll be happy to answer. So uh, the drawing itself is uh, very simple. So this is a play of color. So I haven't done this before. I found this oil painting. So if anybody knows about uh, watercolor, it's, it's a little more tricky. Uh, so I'm gonna try to see if I can replicate this oil painting into a, a watercolor painting. So I don't have uh, copyrights of that painting. So uh, I don't wanna get into trouble by putting the painting. So, uh, so roughly that's the horizon. So there is a, Creek. Um, so there's a little bit of creek in the center, and then there is trees. Uh, one. There's a second one. There's a third one. So and there's a couple more trees. Ten of ones, and there's a few more in the background. So the expectation is there's a light source falling on this area. So this area is there's light, and the rest is a little more darker. So there's a forest. There's a light penetrating inside. And for this one, uh, this is slightly a different set of uh, colors. I'm gonna just use a little bit of uh, white and um, just to, uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, as I said, I haven't tried. If it doesn't look good, I'm gonna try again, but um, we'll go, uh, we'll see how it goes. So I got my a squeezy bottle. So just if I need uh, tissue, and two sets of watercolor, uh, sorry, water. So just in case if I want to use a neat, clean water, I usually keep a clean bottle and then I use another one for uh, washing the brushes. Let's go. So it's uh, just before that, I'm gonna just clean the palette so that I don't want to light source. I'm just gonna clean a little bit. So I'm gonna try to keep it as a little bit of cleaner colors. So I'm just picking out right, that should be clean the brush. So I'm taking a little bit yellow ochre, very light. And I'm adding a little more white to it. Plenty of water. Let's check the color. I need a little more white. Yeah, that's the sort of color I'm looking for. making sure all the areas what I want is very, very light. So I'm gonna add a little more white to that area. Okay. So I'm gonna add a little bit of bone sienna. and raw umber to a color. Just gonna introduce wherever there's a missing piece. A little more bounce here now.
and the Lamar tracker. Not forget the creek. Okay, that is my first layer. So not uh, extraordinary or it's just a simple layer. And then I'm gonna slowly see how I'm gonna work on this one. Okay, at this stage, I'm gonna quickly dry the palette. Okay, I'm gonna switch modes now. Um, I'm gonna pick up a couple of longer tip brushes. So I'm gonna do a few trees way in the background. So I'm gonna just check the color. Yeah, that's fine. I'm making sure that one just blends in. Also keep in mind once it dries, it's gonna be a lot lighter than what it actually is. Make a few more trees in the background. It's always a good idea to start and then pull outside. Don't start with from top to bottom. Uh, it usually leaves a trail from bottom to the top. So one stroke. Couple of trees in the background, so I'm going to slowly build and using a little more gray. A blue and yellow ochre, greenish gray. So let's see. Okay. So that is a little more 
representative of some race. Okay, so now it's time to go get a little bold, a little bit of fire old red, Algerian crimson, so while keeping the edges really soft see what i did so there's no strong edges i'm just gently pushing and probing the colors i should have mixed a little more that's all right So I'm cleaning the brush, taking out the water, and I'm making sure the edges are really soft. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit in that area, and over here, just to represent it's a different type of slightly different tree, a little more yellow of okay? it's a lot more yellow okay? I'm going to add a little. Indian yellow. Same thing. I'm going to come over here and soften the edges. I don't want any sharp edges. It's the morning mist. There's no sharp edges. And I'm going to start introducing a little more green so a little yellow making sure I come in soften the edges I'm going to add yellow ochre. I'm just adding a little more shade. Cleaning the brush, making sure there's no hard edges. Continuing. So, Adding a little more darker tones. So I'm just making sure the edges are really soft. Okay. I'm going to leave that area obviously a little white. More of yellow ochre, a little bit of burnt umber. Sorry, that was raw umber. I could mix a little bit of raw, 
Burn down the raspberry. Just where the lights are. So I just want to make sure that it's a little lighter. And I'm going to go a little heavy. Sure, the edges are not harsh. Same here. Okay. Well, here we're just. Yep. Probably I shouldn't have done that. Okay, and because it's a creek, I'm going to start a little more. Okay, that one uh, is fine. I think it's time to add some trees at the moment. So a thin, long rigger. Uh, in this case, I'm having a calligraphy brush. So, burnt umber, raw umber, it's a combination of those things. A little bit of gray. So I got a nice palette over here so I can mix and match different colors. So obviously the first tree. Tree. Some more taco. Same thing on this side. So I'm slowly building. The branch, as you can see. Okay. So a few more branches. I 
going to switch to even more smaller rigger. Add a few more. But I think at this stage I'm going to just dry a little bit. Just dry a little bit, but also I just don't want to. I'm going to keep the bottom half a little wet. So just did a little bit of squirt. It keeps it alive for a few more minutes while I carry on with a few more branches. So. Okay, a few more in the background. Okay, so okay, a few more branches. Okay, so now I can work on the bottom half. I'm going to add a little more shadow. It still has a kind of muted effect. I'm gonna add a bit more green foliage in the background. Uh, still same family, but a little more. Is too too many sharp edges. I'm gonna just play with it, and uh, that's about uh, for the middle ground. So I think I'm I'm happy with the middle ground, and it's time to 
dry whole painting I think that edge is too sharp so I'm gonna just blend that in this whole painting is about soft edges uh, other than the tree I don't want any dark edges okay time to dry again Okay, so now I'm going to pick in some fresh color directly from the tube and add a few leaves. So I'm picking up really fresh pigment. So a few leaves fallen. Continuing, so a few more leaves. Also, some yellow. Branches. I'm going to switch to some white leaves. Where well, there's a cluster of yellow leaves, just few white.
a few tweaks. Some reflection to the branches. Okay, that should conclude. I don't want to keep doing it. And then a good artist knows when to stop. And I think, at least I know when to stop, even if I'm not a great artist. So I'm going to just add a few more brown leaves. Oh, this guy. There you go. Last right once more. Okay, let's review the painting. We'll check if it's in the frame. It's in the frame. I'm pleased with it. You capture the the light in the forest, it's got, I just still can feel the depth. And it's got strong foreground, a little bit of leaves, a little bit of reflection, and a little bit of stream in between. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, give it a try. This was definitely not a beginner painting, but I would say an intermediate painting. But uh, I think I might uh, try a couple more paintings if you guys like. Uh, watch out for a few more paintings with the forest. Till next time, keep watercoloring and subscribe if you haven't. Bye.